I stayed away from towel embroidery because of so many reasons, but the most important one was sinking of my stitches. But I was able to achieve this when I scouted and I found this particular product on Amazon that I'm going to be unboxing, doing the demo and review with you today, okay? So join me as we find out how good this product is or not. Hey lovelies, this is Annie with Annie Marie. If you're new here, you're welcome. Do well to subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So this is my Sim Trade Wash Away Embroidery Stabilizer and Topping. I bought it from Amazon for $14.99, excluding shipping and import fee deposit. I chose this particular product amongst others because of its good qualities okay i read through a whole lot of reviews there are some that had 2000 plus reviews with average ratings of 4.7 but this one had 280 reviews with average rating of still 4.7 okay which is a good one but why i chose it well because it was 35 microns while the others had 20 microns this assured me that it was going to be thicker, it was going to be more stable and many needle punches on it is not going to break it up, okay? So if you know what you're looking for, always look for quality, okay? Yes, reviews are okay, it's good to read through them, but make sure you know the qualities you're looking for in a product. So it came well packaged like this, as you can see it, and it's well leveled. One thing I love is manufacturers that always know that they need to talk about the product, they need to have proper labels, how to use the products that they're selling. So this came well packaged, had all the details right on it, as you can see it, and I love this, okay? Now, one thing about water-soluble stabilizers is that if they are not well packaged, they can melt. Yes, they are water-soluble, okay? I read reviews where people say that theirs melted at their doorstep and all that, but I didn't have that kind of problem. You can see mine came well packaged and I'm so grateful. So it came with this chart that tells you the product and how you can use it on other items, you know, so many kind of items and there are examples. Okay, so now I have my towel that I want to embroider on. If you want to embroider on towels like this, your stitches are going to sink in, believe me, okay? And I've tried so many times. I already hooped my tear away, lightweight tear away stabilizer, okay? This is my favorite when it comes to tote bags, pulses and items that do not have dense stitches on them. And for towels okay i'm going to tell you this if you use this you're going to love it so i have the water soluble stabilizer at the top of my towel that i already hooped the back stabilizer remember i used the lightweight tear away stabilizer hooped and ready to go and of course we're using the floating method okay so i used the water soluble stabilizer to cover the area that i'm going to embroider on and i used pins to hold it down and I removed these pins after the first stitches, okay? Once I knew that the stitches has held down the water-soluble stabilizer on top of my towel, I removed the pins. But hey, you can keep the pins, okay? Provided they are away from the needle and the thread. You know the embroidery arm moves the hoop around, okay? So make sure that it's far away from the needle probably around the hoop side this is better that way okay so this design is a multi-colored embroidery design and i've been changing the thread colors off camera so that you will see how this goes so far my design is popping i mean it's really showing up on my towel unlike before that it will just be sinking in so we are done with this design and i'm going to bring it out from the machine and we'll see how it went and this looks good this looks good i mean the stitches are no longer sinking into the towel and i'm going to tear this off hey i'm not going to throw them away okay you know me i'm very frugal with my embroidery supplies i'm going to cut it away and keep it for the name because i'm going to embroider names under this you can see how the tear away stabilizer at the back is i'm still going to cut it off and leave the excess for a later project yeah yeah i'm going to okay i save my supplies so you see how neatly it came out 
it looks beautiful okay it looks perfect and i love this water soluble stabilizer there is something i noticed about it it tore away neatly like it was easy to tear away i don't think i'm going to soak this thing i mean i think the water soluble aspect of it is not going to work for me because it just tore away neatly oh my god i'm loving this product i am okay so i used my ss to do the name okay i chose nicholas and it's just one line all right so i just used it floated it on top of it and i used pins to hold it down okay i used pins on both sides you know just two pins to hold it down and so far it is given mm, it's given this is a good buy this is a good investment okay so i'm not going to be running away from towel embroideries anymore bring them on your baby girl has got this now okay i love this like i said what i noticed about this water soluble stabilizer is that it tears off easily i think the name should be water soluble tear away stabilizer because i didn't soak this i mean i just removed the end without even soaking it i mean you are not seeing any sign of wetness on this towel right and it's already done good to go so you're learning something right when you're buying products buy the best don't look at the money just buy something that will work for you and i just finished this and let's see how it turned out i'm sure this is going to look beautiful because of course the monogram came out perfect let's see how this one looks and i managed my tearaway stabilizer at the back yeah yeah you see the pins that i used to hold both sides okay and you can see the back mm -hmm. it's just one line why waste my stabilizer it costs money <laughs> so my thoughts on this stabilizer is go for it okay and there we have it i hope you enjoyed this unboxing demo and review video if you did give this video a thumbs up share your thoughts at the comment section don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one